Hi guys, Dean here at easylanguagewitcher.com. This tutorial is here to help you set up a website with content in multiple languages, whilst minimising technical hassle. It all started when I wanted to redesign the website for my hostel here in Korea. I had content in both English and Korean, and I wanted an easy way for people to choose the right option for their preferred language. You'd think it would be simple, just copy and paste the contents into the relevant pages and put a language switching option in the corner of the site. Yeah. Well, actually, no. Putting a language switcher onto a WordPress site requires messing around with something called the WP config file, which means editing code and using additional FTP software to access the file. That's the easy bit. Getting the rest to work is something that did nothing but eat up my time and frustrate me. Then came a moment of clarity. I figured out a shortcut. It's called Ubermenu. It's beautiful, cheap, and most importantly, simple. Traditionally, Ubermenu is used to add a fancy menu to a WordPress website with a minimum of fuss. What I'm going to do is show you how to use it a bit differently. We'll need a website to start, and here's one I made earlier. I installed WordPress and set up some example pages in English and Korean. I also added two categories under the post section, one for each language. This allows us to put those words on the menu. You of course can use any languages you like, and it could even be more than two. I've also changed the home page to a static front page, and added flags to it to help visitors choose language. However, the default WordPress menu currently looks messy at the top, just displaying everything without sorting it. Ordinarily, we would change this in the dashboard by going to Appearance, then Menus. We would then drag and drop the items to make them display properly. However, although our menu now looks a bit better, it still doesn't work as required. When I hover over English, it gives me the options, but should I click it, I end up on an empty page, not what you want visitors to see. Ubermenu solves this problem. In your dashboard, go to Plugins, then Add New. Click Upload at the top, and then click Browse. I already paid my $18 for Ubermenu and downloaded it to my computer. You can click the link showing here to go to easylanguageswitcher.com slash resources. Don't worry, the video will pause for you. When you've purchased Ubermenu, Find the file you downloaded and select it. Then click Install Now. It will take a short while to upload and install itself. Once it's done, you get a message to say it was successful. Make sure you click Activate Plugin here. Now the fun begins. Go to Appearance, then Menus. Under Activate Uber Menu Locations, check Activate Navigation Menu here. Also make sure that under Menu Settings, here at the bottom, that Navigation Menu is also checked. Take a look at your site, and you'll see the menu has changed. If I hover my mouse above Korean or English now, you'll see a nice list of the relevant pages. There are 15 different design and colour options built into Uber Menu for you to choose from, and you can play with them by looking at Appearance, then Uber Menu, then Style Configuration. Just click the Style Preset menu, and then save to see how each one looks. I'm using the black and white one here, which should look good on just about any site. If you're experienced in design, you can tailor your own by using the Style Generator option. There are also another 30 designs, called Skins, which are available for an additional $6. These additional 30 are flat designs, which mimic the sort of look seen in things like the Windows 8 interface. Once we've decided on a design, we need to make the menu behave correctly. If I click a language name, rather than just hovering, I get taken back to the empty page, just like before. This is because category is really for blog posts, but I just use it as a shortcut to get the menu to display what I needed it to. Unlike the regular WordPress menu, Uber menu has the ability to fix this. Go back to the menu page under Appearance, 
click the relevant menu item here, and then click Over Menu Options. Select Disable Link, and do the same for any other category placeholders you have. Once you've finished, click Save Menu. Now I've fixed it, it can't be clicked. Just hovered over to reveal the relevant options. The next small fix is the Home button. It has a little arrow next to it, suggesting to viewers that it should have a drop down menu. Remove this by going back to the menu page, then Home, move menu options, and then uncheck Activate Mega Menu. Click Save Menu and look at the home page again. The arrow is gone. The next trick is to give each language option a little flag to help guide viewers and improve the overall experience. Back on the menu page, open the Uber menu options for the relevant category placeholder, scroll down and click set thumbnail. Select and upload the relevant file. If you need flag icons, take a look at my resources page, easylanguageswitcher.com slash resources. Enter your email address and I'll send you some for free. Once the flag icon is uploaded, you'll see new options appear below. Make sure you click Use as Featured Image, and then Insert into Post, or it won't show up. Take another look at your site, and there it is. Rinse and repeat for other languages, and voila, you have yourself a multi-language website. Now, I appreciate this can seem daunting. It might also represent extra work on top of a busy schedule. Or, you might just have better things to do with your time. Well, here's the solution. Let me do it for you. Visit easylanguageswitcher.com slash help to see examples of my work, hassle-free design options, and my very reasonable pricing. Thanks for watching.